everybody welcome back to the seesaw oh it's cold out there um it's saturday evening i've just got back in and i went to aldi and sainsbury's today um tony had mentioned earlier that the queues at tesco's were really long um and for some reason the queue, i think it's because it's valentine's weekend the queues so i decided to just wait until later essentially i didn't leave home until just before four to go so it is now six o'clock and i've just got home and putting everything away so um yeah i went to aldi and sainsbury's i spent 76 at aldi and another 13 at sainsbury's so 89 altogether um yeah not a bad week shop there again there's just odd things that are not there and in limited supply like there's no herbs now so you know neither store had any fresh herbs at all so what's going on with herbs surely they grow here locally don't know where are all the herbs why aren't there any in the store licky will want to know he's got some in the cupboard in the fridge but he will run out soon the parsley in the garden has is sprung back to life but everything else is still quite dormant so don't have many options outside and there's obviously no dandelions yet which he loves as well so he'll just have to make do which he won't be happy about because he doesn't like things that are different <laughs> he likes his routine so anyway, I will turn you around, I will show you what I picked up and at the end, as always, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. Just a quick update on the snow. We didn't get the snow. The forecast did three days of snow last weekend and by the time I recorded my shopping video last Saturday, it was two days of snow. We didn't get snow until overnight on Sunday. When we got up Monday morning, there was a covering, like the rooftops were all covered and the, um, and the ground. But like in our garden, the grass was sticking up through the snow. So it wasn't deep enough in the garden to make a snowman or anything like that. There wasn't enough of it there. And then it strangely snowed all day on Monday, on and off. But like big spells of snow, quite big flakes at times and then small flakes and, and kind of lighter snow at times. But it just didn't settle. It got to a point in the afternoon where there was no snow on the ground and there was snow coming down from the sky quite heavily but it was dissolving before it hit the ground. It it was the most bizarre snow I think I've ever experienced. So we did have a full day of it, but nothing accumulated on the ground. And then it's just been bitterly cold since then. So yeah, that's the update on the snow. I think it's probably gone now for this year. Um, although you never know with the strange strangeness of the world at the moment, we may get snow in June or something, who knows. Um, but yeah, I will turn you around, show you what I got. Meal plan will come at the end. So there is the sweep of everything. And what did we pick up today? TV magazine, as always, little pack of birdseed. We've still got some of the big one I bought last week left in the tub, so I'm just gonna top it up with that. And a toothpaste, just because we've used the last one out of the store cupboard um, this week. So whenever I take the last one out, I always buy another one to put in. And then I'll sometimes buy them if I see them on a really good deal. So sometimes we end up with two or three in there. Um, but if I take the last one, then I buy another one. Um, both in one, that's the Aldi version of 50-50, just a regular loaf. I got some of these pancakes, the giant buttermilk ones, for Tony to have on pancake day because Caleb and I will have regular English-style pancakes, which Tony's not a fan of. So he can have these for his pudding on Tuesday. Got some more of the toasting waffles. Caleb's quite enjoyed having these. Um, I bought some, I think two or three weeks ago and he's had them kind of spread out. Um, so I've just stocked him back up with those. I also got some brioche hot dog buns um, because I've got him some hot dogs. Um, a dozen eggs, they only had medium eggs. I don't, the eggs I need this week are not particularly for baking, um, not at any significant amount of eggs for baking which you normally need the largest. Normally baking measurements are based on the large eggs. These are more for just cooking eggs. Um, I am making some meringue, but I can just use as much egg as I need for that. Um, Tropical Blast again, and then I got him the orange fruit slurps. So the Aldi version of these, whatever they're called, fruit blasts, is it? No, that's Tesco, whatever they're called. Um, didn't have any in any flavor. Um, so I picked up some of the orange ones at Sainsbury's. Just a regular pack of mixed crisps. Um, we still have some of the different snacks that we got in our pound shop haul. I picked myself up some um, 
pastries for Valentine's morning breakfast. A Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce as we are out of that. Some caster sugar just to top up. Um, chopped tomatoes, again they didn't have these in Aldi. Plain ones, these are the ones with herbs. Doesn't matter for what I need it for this week, um, that it's got the herbs mixed in it. But there was no regular chopped tomatoes and there was no baked beans at all in Aldi. So I picked up a four pack from Sainsbury's. Um, spaghetti, just to stock up, we had the spaghetti dish this week, so that's emptied my spaghetti jar, so stocking that back up. Some digestives, I'm going to make a cheesecake for our Valentine's dessert tomorrow, um, so um, the, the ju 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 <laughs> digestives are for that. A can of potatoes, I'm going to make myself some cob salads for lunch sometime this week, but going to use feta instead of blue cheese with them. Um, so I like to use canned potatoes for that. These are the Brockwurst or Bockwurst, um, like the giant hot dog sausages that Caleb can have. I like the jarred one because then once I've opened it, I can put it in the fridge and it lasts him a few days. Um, some rice vinegar, um, some red food gel and some Italian herbs. Um, two little cans of the spaghetti hoops for the days that we're having baked beans. Um, a mug shot or a cup shot just because. Um, I picked up this red food colouring um, at Aldi, which was like 60p or something, and I got it because I actually wanted paste, but I thought when I got round to Sainsbury's, if they didn't have any, then I could make do with this, although it's not ideal for what I want it for. Um, but of course they had it, so I've now got both, which is not a problem, because if I make like a red velvet or red velvet cupcakes or something, it will get used, um, but I can use the gel for what I need. Some bourbon creams and some ginger nuts. I've got a little pack of sushi for Caleb, um, just to have for his Valentine's Day lunch. Um, chicken satay skewers for something different. We haven't had those for a while. One of the big tubs of Greek um, fat-free yogurt. Our Aldi hasn't been doing these. I've seen lots of people with these tubs in their halls, um, and our Aldi has only just started to do them, so I've grabbed one of those. A large semi-skimmed milk. Two of the skier layered strawberry yogurts, um, three packs of soft cheese. These are just 200 grams, um, and I want between five and 600 for the cheesecake. So um, three packs of those will do, and then there'll be a little bit left over to have on some bagels or something. Um, this is the full fat. It's cheesecake. There's going to be cream. There's biscuits. There's butter. There's strawberries and meringues and all sorts of things and so it's tomorrow's not a day to be doing low fat cream cheese <laughs> puff pastry um, one pack of that I've got um, I'm going to do this with Caleb we're going to make some ham and cheese pinwheels sometime this week to have for a little snack and like lunchy bites apple and mango juice just for something different a squirt of cream Cooked ham trimmings, these looked quite good this week. Again, I want some little pieces of ham to use in the ham and cheese pinwheels, so those would be ideal for that. They had these back this week, thank goodness, the mac and cheese crisp bakes, so those are for a lunch for Caleb. I got a pack of the sweet pancakes. We will make our own pancakes for pancake day, um, but I thought Caleb could have some pancakes this week as breakfast a couple of days. He hasn't had any for a while. He had a, had a spell of them, and then he's had a bit of a break. But as it's pancake week, I thought... We would have some fresh made ones on Tuesday, but then other days of the week he could have some of these. Um, two bags of grated cheddar, some smoothies, strawberry cones and mini twirls. Um, the Greek style salad, which I'm going, it's what I'm going to use in my sort of kind of like a cob salad um, with some bacon, um, some potatoes, some of that, some mini tomatoes, cucumber chunks, beetroot, things like that. Um, some grana padano just to grate up for um, a couple of dishes I'm making this week. Vegetable medley, the chicken and vegetable pies. We quite like these Aldi ones, they are quite tasty. Um, crinkle cut chips, two packages of Cumberland sausages, two of the big pork fillets, some chicken breast and some chicken legs, um, turkey mints, streaky bacon and some bacon medallions, uh, white potatoes and baby potatoes or salad potatoes, um, some baby corn, cucumber, spring onions, some mini apples, these are just the small 
apples that I like those and Caleb will eat those too. Spring onions and cucumber, neither of those were available in Aldi this week. Um, a baby leaf salad and some romaine lettuce and some little gem for Licky. Um, mixed peppers, an avocado, a really teeny tiny piece of ginger. I just wanted it for one dish and, and there was a little broken off piece at the bottom of the um, of the display and as you can see it was eight pence so that's my ginger um salad tomatoes and baby plum tomatoes these will be for the cob salads um bananas teeniest tiniest easy peelers that after the big ones last week these are the tiniest ones um seedless mixed grapes the red and the green some strawberries to use in our cheesecake and some blueberries which are a combination of breakfast sprinkles and um, some for Licky as well. So moving on to our meal plan tonight, I'm going to make what I call easy ultimate baked beans. So I, if you've watched the channel for a while you will have seen in the past I do something called ultimate baked beans which is the American style baked beans. So um, cooked low and slow in the oven with bacon and brown sugar and like, barbecue flavorings and you start off with dry beans. Um, this is an easy version. I'm starting off with the canned baked beans, so two cans of baked beans and adding stuff to it. Um, Caleb won't have that. He'll have the spaghetti hoops and then we're just going to have simple sausage and jacket potatoes with cheese on to go with that. Tomorrow, it's actually the same meal we had last Sunday, but the boys so enjoyed it. They both rated it as one of their favourite meals of the week. Um, I think it was Caleb's favourite. Um, and so it's Valentine's Day. I just thought I would redo it. It was so tasty. It was the chicken legs, which I just cooked in the oven with a bit of seasoning on them. And then the crispy Italian roast potatoes with the Parmesan and Italian seasonings and olive oil on them, which I did in the um, actor fryer. And then we'll have some vegetables and gravy. I think I've got some stuffing balls in the freezer left from Christmas. So we'll probably have those as well. Um, Monday, creamy chicken, creamy Italian chicken pasta. Tuesday, we'll have the pies with mash and veg. I'm then off work for the rest of the week as it's half term week. So we're having slow cooked teriyaki pork with rice on Wednesday and perhaps some stir fried vegetables or something like that with it. Thursday, we're having burger and fries pot pie. So that's um, you make up your meat mixture um, with burger flavorings in it or burger seasonings in it. Um, and then you put the crinkle cut chips, you put those as the top layer of the pot pie. So like I did one with chicken a couple of weeks ago with the little tater pops on the top or tater tots. Um, this one has fries on the top and then Friday we're going to have bacon onion potato bake so that's just something I remember from childhood as, as having um, you just layer up slices of potato bacon onions um, and you make a bit of a uh, kind of a cream and egg mixture and pour it over the top um, or cream and milk mixture and pour it over the top and then you just bake it in the oven so it's a bit like Dauphinoise potatoes but not as fancy. It's kind of real hearty comfort food. Now the boys will have the rest of the chicken steaks from the chicken spaghetti bake we made this week. Um, with theirs, I will just have it on its own with baked, baked beans. That's one of my favorite kind of comfort food meals. And then I'm gonna make some banana bread brownies this week and we're gonna do eat a mess cheesecake for tomorrow. That's that no bake cheesecake um, that I've made before. Um, that you will have seen a couple of weeks ago I did one with what did I put in it I can't remember now oh a Toblerone one so it's that same kind of cheesecake mix with a digestive biscuit base this time um, and then strawberry stirred through and then I'm going to make some little meringues to to crumble around the top with red red striping on them so that's the plan we'll see how that turns out stay tuned but thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and we look forward to seeing you back here on the seesaw soon